Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use environment variables in Jenkins pipeline. I have logged into my Jenkins server. Let's get started by creating a job. I am going to call this as pipeline, click pipeline and then click OK. Okay. What I am going to do is I am going to use the hello world sample pipeline script to get started. Okay. And here I am going to call this as stage 1. Okay, to do is I'm going to remove this echo. I'm going to use the shell and then I'm going to, I wanted to execute the env and sort that. Okay, I'm going to save this, click build now. The build got executed successfully and we could see all the environment variables which are available to the pipeline in the runtime. It's displayed here. Okay, and in the alphabetical order because we sorted it out. Okay, some of these environment variables may be of use, some may not be of much use. Okay, and here you could see the build ID, build number, build tag, everything. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are just going to make some changes. Configure. Okay, so we are going to add a new environment variable in the pipeline level. Okay, so I'm going to click pipeline syntax, declarative directive generator, click environment, add. So I'm going to call the environment as pipeline there okay and I'm just going to give the value as pipeline okay click generate a declarative directive and then I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to paste it here so this is going to be in the pipeline level right so this variable will be available for all the stages okay so then what I'm going to do is I just want to print this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an search okay then echo going to say pipeline underscore where okay so I'm going to save this build now the build got completed successfully let's go and review that so we could see an echo just the code pipeline okay and then when you come here we could see the pipeline variable as part of the other environment variables okay so let's go back I'm going to configure again okay so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more stages and we will be able to add the environment even in the stage level okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to just copy this paste it here okay so this i'm going to call it as stage 2 okay so in this stage i am going to create add another environment variable okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy this okay and i'm going to add in stage 2 but the variable name I'm just going to call it as stage where okay and the value I'm going just going to call it as stage okay so now what I have done is I have added an environment variable in a stage level stage 2 and this will be visible only for this stage okay so let's confirm that so this stage I'm going to call it a stage 3 and then I'm just trying to echo the stage variable which we have added in the stage 2 okay i'm going to save this i'm going to click build now so the build got executed successfully let's review that okay in the first stage we have a code pipeline okay and we could see the pipeline variable okay in the next stage okay so what we have done is a code stage and here you will be able to see both pipeline as well as the stage variable okay so now we are going to the stage 3 okay so in the stage 3 we will be able to see the pipeline variable but there is no stage variable and even the echo we have not echoed anything because nothing is available in that particular stage okay next what we will do is you know what we have seen is we have assigned some static values to the environment variables we will be able to assign uh, some output of some script and other things also right so what we are going to see now is I am going to use the credentials helper okay and then I am going to uh, get the credential value and then that I am going to just echo it okay so what I am going to do is the pipeline stage okay so I am going to call it as secret text okay so that for that I am going to use the credentials helper okay and I'm going to call the secret text is secret okay so what I'm going to do 
first this okay i'll just go here jenkins user credentials okay so let's add one more credential okay so what i'm going to do is system credentials okay add credentials okay i'm going to create a secret text right so i'm going one two three four five six okay and i'm going to call this a secret because the id is the one which is more important okay so i've saved it secret text okay so now when you come here okay so i have added the secret test as secret okay so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more stage okay so in this stage four what i'm going to do is i'm just going to echo secret okay right so now what i'm going to i need to call this as a secret the secret text okay so i am going to I'm going to save this and then i'm going to build now but uh, obviously we do not want to display the secret in the console let's see what happens now build now okay it is getting executed now okay so let's directly go to the stage 3 okay so here we could see the secret text okay so it is actually not displayed the text it has just masked it okay in this demo we have seen how to use environment variables in jenkins if you like this demo please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo